hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is damsola i really hope you stick around let's just get right into it so in today's video we're going to be doing a get ready with me to create content plus when was the last time q a so you guys basically send me all of your when was the last time you da, 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 questions on instagram and i'll basically be answering them while i do my makeup my hair put my outfit to go create some content today if you're not subscribed i really i really don't know what the reason is like it's actually disrespectful at this point for you to come you know just enjoy the vibes and then take your exit it's actually hurtful it's actually hurtful to me so make sure you go subscribe right now okay <laughs> And then make sure you like, comment, all of the YouTube drill. And if you haven't watched my other two videos, you should probably go do that as well because they were very entertaining and very fun. Disclaimer, guys, I will not be doing like a proper in-depth what I'm doing, how I'm doing it when it comes to my makeup because I might do an everyday makeup tutorial very soon, you know, if you guys want that and also i'm answering questions so it's like that should be my primary focus or whatever when was the last time you felt really happy wow <laughs> y'all just went very deep with it from the beginning <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but i've actually been happy like really happy like excessively I don't know probably when i was with my friends but like i've been happy for the past few months like genuinely obviously you know you have down days but if i'm being really honest and keeping it 100 with you guys like i feel like for the past few months i've definitely been happier than i've been in i don't know a long ass time really so that is a good thing <laughs> i would absolutely love to see it when was the last time you actually spoke to your high school friends i actually speak to my high school friends quite often to be honest like probably yesterday actually a lot of my best friends and my closest friends are the friends that i made in secondary school so if i can say that that school gave me one thing it is <laughs> good friends when was the last time you physically fought if ever <laughs> when megan the stallion said this hair okay maybe not this hair <laughs> because this hair is very much not given that <laughs> these nails oh not these nails too girl i need to get my self together this is embarrassing let me tell you fighting is so ugly bitch you want to fight me with these expensive ass nails on no this hair was not cheap you want to fuck up my lace ma'am you don't care about yourself i do not fight I, I, I don't i don't physically fight anyways I, also because they will beat me <laughs> You know when you know that if you put yourself in those type of situations, they will actually deal with you. They would deal with me. Like I cannot fight. Where, where would I have learned this skill from, please? So I don't put myself in those kinds of situations because I'm not trying to die, y'all. Like hello. And if they beat me, I'll cry. <laughs> no, I'm a pussy bitch. I'm so sorry. I think I've come close to it. Probably when I was in secondary school. Let me give you guys a date of sorts. Yeah, when I was in secondary school, you know if you have this altercations with people. I think we'll just be getting heated. So, especially when we were in boarding school, my God. Because <laughs> the kind of anger that living with girls, like lots of girls, just instills in you. Like, I don't, that kind of rage, like, it's crazy. The way you'll be, like, you'll be seething. Your b blood is hot. Your body is hot. Like, I can't even, I've not experienced that type of anger since I left secondary school, genuinely. Because, like, I don't know. That's when my rage was just. Cause I used to have bare anger issues as well, and that place you just make it worse. <laughs> like it will aggravate you so much that like you said you'd be encouraging the anger issues. So probably when I was in secondary school, that I've come close, but I've never actually like wrapped us. But we're beating ourselves. No, 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 no. <laughs> my classmate. I remember when I saw this. Oh my god, my classmate really asked, "When was the last time you came to listen?" <laughs> but in my defense, basically. How my current schedule works is I have my lectures online and then I have my um, workshop seminars, whatever you call them, in person, right? And the seminar, see, is up to God. It's cold, y'all. It's cold. It gets dark really quickly. <laughs> I'm tired. Like, I just, no. So, when was the last time? I, I was actually thinking about it when I saw that. When was 
last time you went in person to uni it's been a minute guys it's been like a week and a half <laughs> it's so embarrassing i'm laughing but it's not funny it's not funny everybody go to your lessons go to your go to school stay in school kids it's important horrible scenes <laughs> When was the last time you saw your favorite artist perform live? I don't have a favorite artist, you know. I have a favorite celebrity. Harry Styles, obviously, the king of my soul, is my favorite celebrity. But he's not necessarily my favorite musician. Like, what I mean by that is, I don't necessarily prefer his music to everyone else's music, even though as a person, I prefer him to every other celebrity. The way I consume music and my experience with artists is very weird. So I actually don't have a favorite artist. But I did see one of my favorite artists live in September, who's, which is Megan Stallion. And I've seen her live before, but I just wanted to go again. And it was incredible. So that was the last favorite artist that I saw perform live. Do you know who I really want to see? Oh my God, this kid is this weekend, guys. And I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going to be crying. I'm in pain. I'm in pain, you guys. That's fine what I'm going to do. Those three days, I must be busy. Like, in fact, I'm going to do all my uni work <laughs> because I don't want to see. When was the last time you cried? Literally, <laughs> like two days ago. Do you guys know that video of Adele seeing her teacher at her show at her one night? Or was it an audience with? Yeah, an audience with Adele. Y'all, yeah. it just hit my heart. Like, I don't even know. I just started sobbing, literally. And she was crying. I was crying with her. I was like, oh my god. When was the last time you did something bold? Do you know what? I think starting a YouTube channel is pretty fucking bold, especially in 2021, y'all. Like, yeah. So the last time I did something bold was, what, well, last week when I decided to start this channel. But well, I decided a long ass time ago to be her. But like, actually did it. Because the way I've been procrastinating doing this for over a year now <laughs> is crazy. When was the last time you got drunk and passed out? Oh my god, guys, story time! <laughs> So this was only ever happened to me once and it was this summer basically and what had happened was <laughs> I I just realized like what happened like much later I was basically drinking on an empty stomach and I didn't even realize that I was drinking on an empty stomach because I don't know my eating schedule was very sporadic at the time so we see I went somewhere with a friend and there was a lot of drinking involved but i ended up getting very drunk like probably the most drunk i've ever been in my life and blacking out like i still don't remember what happened till this day <laughs> and obviously i passed out and i don't even remember passing out so my friend just told me that like <laughs> when they had dragged me to a certain place before they knew i was just out like a light after throwing up after making a big ass fool of myself but it was fun. <laughs> it was not fun. Because the thing about blacking out is you don't remember. So you don't even know if you had fun or not. Like, it's all gone. G kids. Yeah, so after that experience, I was like, oh yeah, I'm never doing that again. Like, I'm never getting drunk to the extent that I'm blacking out. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know anything that's happening around me. I don't have the memories. It's like, it's like a dream. Like, when she was telling me, I was like, that, that don't sound like me. <laughs> I have like two or three flash images, but that's it. Like... And that's so scary, like y'all. So even though it didn't stop me from drinking, kind of, <laughs> I was back to it in a few weeks. But I think it just made me be more responsible, like have like full meals before I start drinking, like accepting that you're a lightweight. But yeah, that was the last time I did that, and it was the ghetto, and I'm not doing it again. So drink responsibly, kids. No go do past yourself. We have a lot of romance-related ones, which I knew were coming at some point. So let's just get to it. When was the last time you had a crush on someone? I've been having crushes all the time, guys. <laughs> but it's actually been a minute. I have to think about that one. Okay, this summer, this summer I had a little cheeky little crush. On so it didn't amount to shit, but <laughs> I had it and it was fun. I love having crushes on people. Is it just me? It's just like all the possibilities, you know? It's fun. Yeah. It's like an exciting time. So, I love a bit of a crush. I have crushes all the time. And, like, I will have, like, brief obsessions. It's just, it's very on brand for me. When was the last time you were in love? I'm currently in love with Harry Styles. Whenever I say this, people don't take me seriously. But I would never stop saying it. Because, do you think it's normal to, like, have such a deep affection for somebody from when you're 7 years old to when you're 18 years old? And still going. Like, I just think... I'm 100% in love with him. They're like, oh, how can you be in love with somebody you've never met? Well, I am. But if you meet with somebody I've actually met, never. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> no, 
oh please that's why i don't like these romance questions do you want to embarrass me yeah i don't like it i'm not here for it when was the last time you were in a relationship and if you ask me i don't think i've ever been in a real serious relationship like no shades anyone like i'm not saying that to be shady or anything i just think that in any of the relationships that i've been in one i was really young two we didn't actually see a future together like it was for the time being vibes do you know what i mean and i don't think that really counts as a real relationship because to me like actual relationships maybe you see a future together or you're in love or you're together for an extended period of time like it has to be one of the three like <laughs> or all preferably but do you get what i mean like none of those things have ever happened to me and i'm also a child I, i'm still a child obviously but like i was a child child so no <laughs> the last time is never <laughs> but if we're like being technical and saying oh when was the last time you were somebody's girlfriend quote unquote then probably two and a half years ago the next one is what was the last time you liked someone like hello like why are you like this okay let me just say caught feelings because two, two and a half years ago <laughs> i haven't liked anyone since my last relationship but like when i've obviously been interested in people and spoken to people do you know what i mean but like actually catching feelings i guess it's the point where it's like okay i have feelings for you I haven't had that you know but i just think that like after like you have a certain type of experience like a shaping romantic experience or whatever like it like makes a difference in you and like obviously it's either like maybe you raise your standards and like you decide that you don't want to be in a certain kind of situation anymore or like i don't know the opposite effects like you just crave that companionship constantly and then you make like a string of poor decisions or whatever so i think for me like after the experience i had in my last relationship like i was just like i'd much rather be by myself till i have my shit together genuinely and that's not shade to them or shade to like people who decide to continuously be in relationships like i think chase your joy romance is a beautiful thing love is a beautiful thing but i think for me like if it doesn't look like what i want it to look like i don't see the point in doing it and i'm so young like i have all the time in the world to be in relationships my god's great <laughs> to be in relationships and experience all these things like right now i should just be having fun and living my best life and enjoying myself and reaching my goals like relationships will come you get feelings will come all these things will come if it happens i'm not mad at it you know it's all vibes we love to see it but i can't say that i'm actively seeking those things as of right now and i haven't been actively seeking them since my last relationship when was the last time you went on vacation i think we're approaching more normal questions now i haven't been on like a proper vacation in so long guys like in a few years like a proper proper one like in a while nah i need it like and when you say you need something like i need it that is my genuine heart desire I feel like that's one of my major goals for next year as well manifest manifest you have to believe it's going to happen and then it's going to happen so you guys should also be manifesting it for me because i haven't gone on one in so long but can you imagine how fun that will be that vlog will be so think of the benefits for yourselves <laughs> if you're not thinking of the benefits for me when was the last time you were proud of your accomplishments i had a very strange relationship with like accomplishments of mine like um i think it's just a result of like imposter syndrome and stuff feelings of inadequacy and stuff like that but like whenever i do something that is obviously like an accomplishment and it's obviously significant it's like i will always downplay it in my mind and make it seem like it's not that big a deal because i don't know i don't know that's how i'm built especially when it comes to like academics and stuff like that because i'm the type of person that's like you, you know relatively good at school and like does quite well at least tries to and then like obviously when you do things that's like oh my god you actually did this in my mind i'll be like mm, it's not that deep so people have done <laughs> this that 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 <laughs> so yeah i'm proud of my accomplishments all the time but genuinely long-term pride and stuff that i've done that on the other hand is i'm gonna get back to you on that when was the last time you actually took a deep breath tell <laughs> I think I just took that as like, you know, slowing down and relaxing and just like taking everything in type of vibes and I don't, I can't say that I have in a while because just, I don't know, it's just go, 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 especially when people oversell adult life and like having responsibilities and being in charge of yourself and all of that shit, they really do because it's not fun. <laughs> 
like you're always thinking of something like, i'm a baby girl i want to relax i'm be taken care of sometimes i feel like i just want to relax and be taken care of and that's really my genuine heart desire as i am now so i haven't taken a deep breath in a while but you guys want to take a deep breath in here let's do it let's do it i don't remember like i feel like there's seconds <laughs> i might be overthinking it but they always say like oh in for 17 seconds out for seven. let's just do it sha inhale exhale tell me that wasn't calming y'all tell me that wasn't calming tell me i did just <laughs> you know okay, guys it's just lips and setting spray and then we're done i'm still trying to finish this my favorite lip gloss that is clearly finished but i just do not want to set that but yeah i think we are done with this beat let me set my face we're looking kind of cute, you know. Tim, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to take pictures, but... The way I justify it is inside of myself. Ooh! <laughs> it's a destination. Let me get my hair down, put on my outfit, and I'm going to come back and check in with you guys. Guys, so the first outfit is this cardigan top and these beige flares from cider cider i'm shooting for today so everything is from cider let me come closer so you can see it it's giving cutesy see i'm a woman of range i can do all and today is a cute vibe and we kind of love it you want to see the other outfit and all the content that i create today you know the pictures the tiktoks all of that stuff you have to follow my socials and if you want to participate in like videos like this you have to follow my socials as well so my instagram my tiktok will be in the description so go follow me so you can see all the cute stuff that i made thank you guys so much for sending in your questions and keeping them you know fun we love to see it and i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one make sure you like comment subscribe share all of that fun stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Taking pictures in the streets as I do. But it was in front of someone's building. And I didn't even realize it was anybody's building. But obviously, <laughs> someone's dog starts barking at me. Like I hear the dog barking. I can hear the owner wrestling like, behind them. But I wasn't even fast. And then, just for me to be packing up. Because I didn't like the angle of that place. And... She's recording me and I just waved because I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? This is so awkward. And yeah, they create a concept by yourself with it. And like my tripod can't separate from my ring light. So it just looks absolutely ridiculous, genuinely. <laughs> but I'm not one to be really fussed about things like that. But um, yeah, if I was like shame inclined, I would be very embarrassed. But I'm not. So <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> do you get what I mean? But I definitely feel like I should do it create content with me vlog because it can never not be chaotic when it's me other people who have the calmest experiences but i'll be being filmed <laughs> anyways i am the main character so i think she was within her rights to film me it's my world everybody's just living in it i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>